you have before you the Apostles' Creed. It's not perfect, but it is a statement of what Christians everywhere always have believed. Can we stand together and can we affirm our faith? And on this being a day when we remember the persecuted church, can we know that we are standing with brothers and sisters in those scores of countries where to say these words can cost you your life. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified dead and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' holy worldwide church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Hear these beautiful gospel words. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm going to pray a prayer again that was written a long time ago. I'm going to mean it as I pray it. Please hear these words and pray it with me. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake that we may hereafter Live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Janice is going to play while we prepare our hearts, and then we'll share communion together.
loves you and me. The angels look and they say, see how God loves them. He sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for their sins. This is the body of Christ broken for us. Take and eat in remembrance of him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your sinless body broken for us. And after supper, he took the cup and he said, this is the cup of a new covenant in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink this, all of you, in remembrance of him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your real human blood that had never sinned shed on the cross for our sins. We receive by faith the gospel, Lord, and we rejoice in the forgiveness of sins together. Amen. Now we have one, one minute before we move on, and we're going to try something brand new. Everyone can forgive me. Is there one person here this morning who wants to come up, take this microphone, and give a one-minute testimony on what the goodness and grace of Jesus is meaning in your life through the gospel? Would someone like to come up and share that with the church this morning? We have a moment. We would love for that. I'm sorry? Uh, thank you, Lee. Let's welcome Lee. Lee, you got one minute. Now, one minute's hard for an Italian. We know that, okay? All right? But we'll put a contract out if it goes long, okay? Um, I guess my story is I've always known I was adopted. Uh... About 20 years ago, I petitioned the state of Michigan for some identifying of the circumstances of my adoption. And it's a closed adoption, and the file was probably half inch thick, and every time it referred to a name or a location, it wasn't blacked out, it was cut out. It was all like cut or Swiss cheese. But the thing I learned is that when I was born, I was born with a severe case of syphilis and I was a ward of the state almost immediately. Um, the significance of that is my parents, understanding my medical history, still wanted an imperfect child. Thank you, Jesus. And wanted to be to, uh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm an Italian. I wear my uh, emotions on my sleeve. But um, they still wanted me knowing I was imperfect. And it's an example of God still wanting us. And we don't have to be perfect to be his adopted child. Wow. And that's it. Wow, praise <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs>